Andy. Oh, and remember Bionic Man? Oh, I remember. What's up, guys? Uh, Wes was fresh salt fishing here. I'm going to be showing you uh, the member berry fly that we've been throwing recently for redfish. A movement in the water, even when, uh, you know, not being stripped. We're going to start off with a small to medium dumbbell eye. They're going to eat it, and um, it's going to be a very light bite. So uh, I go with the light wire stinger hook, tying some grizzly marabou off the back. I like it somewhat long. Well, I don't know about the length of the shank of the hook. The bite a lot of times on this fly is going to come when you're just sitting on the bottom, not stripping. So it needs a lot of movement in that scenario. So I'm not going to add flash. I don't like flash on this fly. If you had um, some sort of mono eyes or anything like that, this would be this would be the time to put them in. Um, I don't have mono eyes, so I'm just gonna skip to my next step, which is gonna be your silly legs. Little tip for you guys: if you're out there buying, you know, pack after pack of silicone silly legs, they're all the same color. You know, you run through like maybe 10, 20 flies and you gotta buy a new pack and they're like $7 or something crazy. Go to Bass Pro or like Cabela's. I think it's gotta be one of the bigger stores. I, I can't find it at like Walmart or Dick's or anything like that. Um, get yourself some of these. What this is, is this is a, a jig, like a bass jig skirt. You can buy them in a pack. This is one is one clump they have three like clumps in a pack and one pack is like three dollars so it's cheaper you get way more silly legs I mean you get three of these clumps this one's about half used too from all, all the member berries I've tied and they come in so many different colors and you get a pack and like this one's got straight brown it's got some some tan with some green glitter it's got tan with no glitter so I mean you buy like two packs of these in different colors and you have about five different colored silly legs for half the cost so um, and the rubber is a lot stronger I mean a lot stronger you can pull those strands really nicely so I'm just gonna put on some silly legs with some flash want a couple I'm gonna do about three on each side Just crazy movement out the back of this fly. We want to use this to match the hatch. So we like olive because a lot of the crabs and shrimp that we're seeing in the grass are all green. Um, so what, what I got is this ever it's this EP one inch tarantula brush. I, I would just tie this to match whatever crustacean crab or shrimp or whatever you got going on in, in your area. But uh, what you don't want to do is wrap over the back side here because that's going to prevent your fly from sitting flat. It's going to kind of want to turn as you strip it. You want it to stay nice and flat. So I don't wrap on the back side. I don't wrap on the side of the dumbbell. It's going to ride the other way around. I don't want to wrap on the bottom side. I don't know where my bodkin is, but honestly, take an old pair of scissors. These are my only pair, but they're kind of old and don't really cut that good anymore. Then you leave them open, and when you go to pick it, you actually have a, a cutting edge right here, which will help um, with these micro silly legs. They'll get pinched in under the wire. This EP will get pinched. When you run these scissors through it, instead of just pulling it all out, it'll cut it a little bit. And that way, you can see if you notice now, this is really long and it covers the hook point. So I'm, I kind of want some of this to slim down and I'll trim it 
here in a sec. But I'm gonna pick it all out before I do. All right, that looks about good. Now I'm gonna come in, and I'm just gonna bring my scissors right under the barb of this hook. And just do a couple of trims, one right under, one just to the left, one just to the right of it. And you'll notice now that hook is really nice and exposed. Now, you can leave the bottom real bushy, and I would, because it's gonna, the top down profile is gonna be a lot better. So he's gonna be looking down on it from this angle. And uh, if you trim up this, if you leave this kind of long on the bottom, it just looks like extra legs and, and body. And it just makes it look a little bit meatier. Because in the water, it's obviously gonna slim a little bit. Okay, for the weed guard, I'm gonna go ahead and use a piece of 30 pound hard mason. The hard mason is important because that's gonna keep um, the weed guard nice and stiff. If you use regular mono or fluorocarbon, it's not gonna be, not gonna stay stiff. It's gonna wanna warp and bend and stuff like that. So you wanna use hard mason. Folds over, it's nice and tight, but it's gonna stay. I mean, if you notice, I can push it down a bunch of times, and it still stays stays tall. Really good fly for a redfish. Um, I bet you a bonefish would eat this. Um, anything that eats crabs, sheep's head, black drum. Um, yeah, it's a really good fly. Um, does really well for us. It slims down in the water, it's really subtle. And uh, like I said, you can fish it super slow because this is gonna have crazy action just sitting on the bottom. So uh, yeah, roll your own up and um, start catching some redfish. You know, post some pictures, tag us in it, let us know um, if the fly's starting to work for you. Um, we like good feedback on our patterns. Obviously, it's working for us, but we want to see how it's working for other people. So, yeah. there's a member there.